let me start off uh, for those young uh, have not signed up yet. So to sign up, you just click here, sign up. All right. And then um, you go directly to, you fill up all this. Okay. Make sure that you are under business or owner, business owner or HR, right? Fill in your name, phone number, your email address, uh, your password. Okay. Then you confirm your password, your company's name, according to the SSM. Right, and then uh, how many employees you have, your headcounts, and your locations. If you have, for example, uh, uh, branches in other states, uh, you may add uh, various, lah. okay? So you may add Kuala Lumpur and then uh, add uh, some more other states, lah, right? And then um, you just click, I'm not a robot, click this one privacy, and then you create the account. So once you create an account, an email will be sent to uh, your email. Lah. Okay. So for example, like this one, I've already created uh, this morning. Okay. So the first one will be uh, to confirm your email address. Right. So you need to click this. So once you click this, uh, it will bring you to the uh, login page. So here, this one I have already set up, right? So um, let's uh, try this one. Um, what is the panier? I'm not mistaken, it's... Okay, and then you log in, okay? So once you log in, uh, let me try that again. Uh, ah, this one. Okay. Once you log in, so it will come to the this uh this page. So this page will requires you to finish up the uh the first registration. So what you do is you can click either one of these box. Okay. Uh, example, I click on this one, and then you click on next, and then you have to fill up uh, uh, the other personal details. Lah. Okay, for example, okay, uh, date of birth, um, okay, and then your positions, okay, let's say you're in HR, your department. Right, and your start date. Okay. Uh, okay. And then you put next. Lah. Okay. So once you put next, this is the G file. Uh, you can go through or you just simply click next. And then uh, you click next, complete. Lah. Right. Okay. So once you complete, uh, complete uh, the the registration is uh, complete. Lah. Okay, so you go to home, and this will be your dashboard. Okay, so here uh, on top is your menu. Okay, menu bar, and then this is the dashboard page. So under the dashboard page, you can see your claims, uh, who's on leave, uh, your staff on leave, and your own leave. And then of course, uh, you will see your payroll lah here, right? Okay. Once you've done that, you need to do all the settings. Okay. First of all, you need to do your company settings. So you, you go here and then uh, you click on company settings. Okay. So on the company settings, you can insert in logo here. So just click any picture, picture file, right? And then uh, this is the, your company name. When you registered, you have already filled in your company name. So you put in your registration number, for example, this one. And your locations also is there already. Lah, because masa you register, uh, you've already uh, located your locations. And then your primary address. Okay, for example, like this one, and your phone number. Lah. Okay, so the, the next thing you need to do is your working days. 
So working days, if you're working Monday to Friday, you just put Monday to Friday. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday, you put off day. Or maybe you work half day on Saturday, you just put half day uh, for Saturday. Okay. In this case, I put Monday to Friday. Lah. Okay. And then um, public holidays are off. It's already defaulted. So you just click save. So this is your first uh, setup lah, for your basic company details. Then you move on to your bank details. Uh, this is your bank payee for payroll and other uh, payment that you make to your company's bank. So for example, if you're using Maybank, okay, then you put in the number. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, six. Yeah. For example, this is your bank account number. Okay. Uh, some banks, they require for you to input a uh, bank origin ID or corporate ID. Uh, some banks like uh, CIMB, they require you to add in uh, organization ID. So you need to find out uh, those codes uh, if the, uh, your bank requires it. Okay. So right now, I just put my bank first. Uh, my originator ID is, okay, I just put this one. So if you have account number, I put this and SOXO account number, let's say this one and my income tax number. Okay, so income tax number, LHDN number, uh, you refer to number file rujukan, uh, which starts with E. Eh? So remember, not start with C, but with E. So the E number, the number of file rujukan, and then if you have zakat number and HRDF account number, you just uh, add in. Eh? So the next thing you do is save. And this one is, this is other details. For example, your birthday visibility, uh, birthday, it will show in the calendar. You can, you have an options to show everyone or only show to admins. Okay. If uh, sometimes uh, uh, the date of birth also is very sensitive. So you don't want it to be made known to other employees. So you just make known to uh, admins only. Uh, and then you have the ability to uh, allow employee to edit their personal information. Uh, this one, I recommend you, you just uh, uh, untick this. Uh, we want to maintain the admin, only maintain the personal information. And then, of course, the contact visibility for mobile app version. Uh, it will show uh, all employees' contact information. If that is also PNC, you can hide it. Okay, but if it's okay with you guys, then just uh choose the options here. Okay. And then uh, allow employees to see team screen in mobile apps. So it just this one is just defaulted. Once done, you just click on save. The next step is for you to add in users. Right now, there's only admin here. So to, to add employee, just go to add employees to team. Okay. You can add individually. If you add individually, you click this one and you fill up. Okay, fill up this information. This one you ignore and then you just save. Okay, but that one would take uh, some time for you to do. Lah. If let's say you have a bunch of employees, so that would be a bit troublesome. So for new join, uh, for new onboarding, let's say you just uh, subscribe to uh, Kaki Tangan, then what you do is patch add employee. Okay, click on that. And then you download the template here. So I've already downloaded the template here. So this is how the templates look like, right? So here are a few details I've already added in. So you have to add in all these details. Some you can leave, okay? Some you can leave, uh, leave blank. But uh, all those other details you need. Uh, currently, what I'm showing to you is uh, the, the one that uh, usually is very, it's useful for uh for employee details for example like their departments okay uh, when they are hired uh, their positions and all that okay their email address is very important okay because uh, all uh, communications uh, in the system are being uh, made through uh, email okay so you need email for each employee uh, the manager's email that one you can leave blank first if you want but uh 
if that would uh, later on that would be uh, you have to uh, assign the reporting manager lah. If you knew already the manager's email, just add in. Okay. So once you've done this, you have to save this under Excel file. So what you do is when you want to save, uh, okay, and then the file format, you, have, you need to change to CSV. Okay, CSV, employees, all right, then you save. Just click OK, right? Then it's done. So the next step uh, you need to do is uh, to up uh, to import it. Lah. So what you do is just click here, okay, and goes to download. Uh, uh, this is the file just now. Okay, you open and you download, right? So if there is uh, an error, it will show you and it will tell you what are the errors. So employee social account number must be a valid format number. Okay. Um, all right. So what you do, uh, if you have this kind of issue, um, you go and open back the file. Um, okay, the CSV. You open back the file. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So open with Excel. See, every time, sometimes when you open back these uh, numbers, uh, sometimes they change back to scientific rules. So what you do is again, you have to change it back to numbers. Okay. Let's check others. Uh, others seems okay. Then you save it, right? And you go back to this one, and then we will try to upload it. Okay. So now no error. Okay. You may check again. If everything is okay, then you just confirm. So once you confirm. You can check back your users. And the employees are all there. Go back to your users. Right? And then under users, you have your employee here, active employee, you have terminated employee, and you have groups. So you create a group first. Okay? So how to create groups? Just click under add groups. Then you put like, the same management. Okay, and then you put uh, operations. Okay. okay. The next steps you need to do is assign who is under management and who is under ops. So in this case, I would like to add uh, this one under management. Okay, it added. So now you see this one is one already. And then you assign uh, the other two or the other three as uh, ops. Okay, so you have now grouping and you have assigned already. 